Okay, good evening. I didn't set the crank down in it, I didn't make sure all marine gats was right. 19 thousandths. I set the crank in it. Torqued all them down. And for some reason or another, I don't know why they've done this, but the caps go back and then this one goes forward. Oh, it's kind of weird. That little notch on there goes forward. It's for that back case in there, but then your middle burn is your thrust burn. So your crank don't go in and out. You thrust one's there. On the old three fitches used to be here in the back. But it's got a uh, I put the uh, dial boy gauge, I mean, uh, it's here on it, and checked it, and it's got uh, around three thousandths, two to three thousandths, if push it hard, it'll be about three thousandths, clearance on there, ow, damn, it's been so easy now, it's got uh, some pretty thick, uh, assembly lube in there Primatex assembly lube but yeah that's done I'm putting the rings on the pistons right now gotta put the burns in it set my camera up took that part of the ring and marked it with red so you can see it. Man, it sure is a lot of ladybugs out. Good little lady. I hope they eat the damn gnats. You bring in one tomato. These don't have a top and a bottom. I did all of them but two. You got to make sure that stays butted up to the ends there. It tells you on the uh, cam, I mean the uh, ring set. It's Heston rings by the way. Heston. Put the second one on it. Done six of them already. And I'll return these clockies uh, once I get ready to put them up in the uh, piston wall. I'll re clock in. But see, you can still see that little red mark. On the piston, on the, uh, make sure they butt it up against each other. They butt together like that. <coughs> so that's the uh, oil ring. Second ring, this one's got a top and a bottom to it, and it's clearly got top road on it. But the top, this this top means goes up, but it's the second ring. See? Second ring. walk that thing on as it goes around.
you from scoring up the piston. These are low tension rings. And this top ring don't have any marks on it. So it says on the paperwork it can go in either direction. I think these pistons cleaned them up pretty good. Got a little swat of carbon still left on it, but uh, like I said, I'll be turning these ring gaps once I get ready to set them in there. Uh, I got to put the burns in, but uh, these are fraction, fractured caps, so no two are the same. This is number six piston. But no two are the same. They actually take these things and build them in a circle, and then they got a machine or something that breaks them. See, they're fractured. They actually broke. If you notice, they're broke. They're fractured, broke. And they fit together perfectly. Once they're good and tight, you can hardly see a seam. They go back together so, so good. If it wasn't for that oil coming out of there, so you can't even see a seam in it now. But it's clearly a seam. But they fracture, break them. I guess they put them in a machine that holds them like here. And then it pops that off, fractures it, and breaks it. So no two are the same. So it's got all the rings on that one. <coughs> this one didn't clean up the carbon quite as good, but it's still, it's fine. It'll be back on that in a minute after you crank it. So. I'm putting a little joint where they meet up. It don't specify either way. I'm pretty sure it don't matter. But you got to make sure these don't lap over top of each other. But you're putting your uh, other ring on. And if you put that one end down in there and then walk it around, it does pretty good. <coughs> and see, now you still see a little red mark. Kind of hard to see. And pick that out when you. Uh, When you don't mark them, I've been marking them. See, this thing don't want it. It wanted to uh, pop over top of the ring. Make sure that's in there. Get you a good pick. Then you can kind of spin these off from each other. It tells you how it wants them gapped. This gap's here now. That's a little tricky to get them gapped. I'm going to try to gap them uh, away from the, uh, the little red mark. I got that where I want it. Now I want to get this one where I want it. The top one. Spread the gap out a little bit further. So one gap's here. The other gap's there. 
that's pretty much how they want it on the uh, see that but I'm gonna do the top ones too so number two ring top You don't want to break one, you have to buy a whole nother set. And if you'll just be easy with it, it'll go in there. But when you put your ring squeezer on it, you got to make sure that these ain't done popped outside. So you don't break them that way either. But I got me another ring uh, squeezer instead of that little band that I've been had for years. I kind of didn't like it a long time ago, but finally found the ring compressor I wanted and it looks new. I reckon they cleaned it really well but it's used. I got it for $25. No, $23. But, uh, you put that on there, squeeze it, and it's got a bottom mark on it. So when you go up in the uh, piston wall with it, you can uh, hit it up in there. But uh, this is the modified pistons I did. Put the three holes in. There and the three holes in on this side. But yeah, that's the way it's going to go in. It's number five. I'll put in, uh, I'll start with number one. And then if you want to, it's got a little unlock button over here on the side. A little unlock tab. So you go in, you unlock it. And it's got different uh, bands on it. Pretty cool. Well, I guess it goes like that. I don't know. I think it goes in the middle one there. Like that. I think it really matters. Alright, that's it. Battery's going dead anyway. Well, that's in. Five and six. Alright then, y'all have a good day. Laugh. Oh yeah, another good idea. If you're doing this, I got that <laughs> strap right there on my pole that holds the house up. Strap that there and it won't move. 
when you're torquing everything down and when you torque it take a paint marker or I just took some green paint I had sprayed it in the top spread it in the top and took a uh, uh, one of them big q-tips and marked that on them so every one you do you do it like that and, they was me in. and these top bolts I'm going to reuse them it's been only the second time been used I guess but, but uh, the inner ones The inner bolts was uh, 15 foot pounds, and then you had to go uh, 80 degrees. And then the outer bolts, it was uh, 15 foot pounds. So pretty much every one of them was 15 foot pounds. But these was 80 degrees, and these was uh, 51 degrees on them. And uh, yeah, and then these outer ones here was 18 foot pounds. I talked them to about 20. I figure my torque wrench, as old as it is, is probably off a little bit. But uh, I got a new one, and that big one I don't like uh, using it on little stuff. It's one of the new Quincy's, but it's got your degrees on it. You set your degrees, that's what I used on the other one. Another little Harbor Freight one, but it works good. But it's old. There it is. This is what you, uh, this took place with your dis distributor. You got your uh, crank sensor here, and this is what tells it to fire when it does. Like a bunch of points, don't it? But yeah, that's how it, what makes it fire. So yeah, and I cleaned everything up pretty good. Got the valve covers cleaned up pretty good there. The heads, he reworked them and cleaned them up for me. The back cover, I got it clean. The valley pan, I cleaned that up. The front cover, cleaned that up. We got everything. We got motor mounts. Transmission mount, some cooler line uh, fittings, the front seal and rear seal of the transmission, the flex plate here with the, uh, because it's got a foil 80 in it now instead of foil 60, it's got the uh, little adapter plate and uh, this is a motor, this is for the door, this is all the cam and, and uh, push rods and uh, lifters and Got brand new lifters, the brand new cam plate. There, they uh, it's got those are new lifters. I don't know what this is. Oh, the rock arms, brand new ones. I went through the motor shop to get them. I got to get these and these. They didn't come with the cam kit, but uh, that was a new timing chain set. Uh, as Brian Toomey, that's the Brian Toomey truck Morris cam. As a Brian Toomey push rods, I think was in there, and the valve springs already on here. They got new guides, uh, lock and retainers. Uh, see, everything's on them. But them all the stock heads. But uh, he ain't looking to really, really, really go fast. I cleaned up the uh, plate, the splash plate, and that thing will cut the crap out of you. So if you mess with one of these, it's got a lot of sharp edges on it. So watch it. And it is marked for the rear. They got some new mufflers. These new. Uh, thrust rattlers they're gonna be loud the tube I gotta clean it up a little bit I think new belt oh that's the old one we got a new belt over yonder though everything on it's gonna be pretty much new 
This was the rings I just put in. And that's Nova. What you want? You got a friend? Have you got a friend? Where did your little friend come from? Huh? What do you want to do? Play? With what? Go find your frisbee. Yeah, go go in here. Go find your frisbee. Probably upstairs. Go on. Go get it. No. Look. Go upstairs. Look. No, listen. Listen. No. Come here. Sit down. Sit down. Calm down. Calm down. No. Come here. Come here. Sit. Look. Listen to me. Go upstairs and get your frisbee. No. No. Come in here. Go upstairs. Go to your room and get your frisbee. Go to your room and get your frisbee. Go to your room upstairs. Go. The door's locked, ain't it? Yes. The door is closed. That's the reason she can't go up and get her frisbee. She knows it. Have you got one outside? We'll find it. You know you got one up here. I don't like that one. But yeah, evidently the door was closed up there and she can't get through. But she's got a little friend, I guess. That's baby sister. Alright then, y'all have a good day. Later.